Eric Hansen here at the sports card signing in Mansfield, Massachusetts, joined by two-time Super Bowl champion and former Patriots tight end Christian Fourier. How are you doing? I'm doing great. Doing great. How are you? I'm fantastic. I get to see a great event, meet yeah. some sports legends such as yourself. Everybody seems to really be enjoying the event. Yeah, you know what? Uh, it's fun to come here. You see so many uh, old collectibles. I mean, people have been showing me things like from when I was in college. You know, Dave Collins is here. Uh, Cedric Maxwell is here. Um, just you know, cool to see these guys in person and then meet all the fans obviously absolutely we actually we have a chance to cover a lot of events like this and I'm always surprised by just how strong the relationship is between former athlete and fan in New England it really seems to be unique to professional sports around the country um, it is unique and I think it's uh, the East Coast um, it, it, uh, overall has that I think with, uh, with the sports that have been here longer I mean I grew up on the West Coast in Los Angeles and you know, if, if we see something that says established in 1955, we get all excited. Here, they go 1678, and you're like, holy cow. But there's so much history here with the sports. Um, you know, and just this is where all the, you know, the original for, for hockey and basketball. So there's just a, a, a really nice camaraderie. And you talk about between, uh, you know, the fans and the athletes, it's also I mean, athlete to athlete, you know, because we're all running in the same circles. Guys are in the media and the radio, and we see them at the signings. There's an obvious respect that, that, go, that goes along with that. And it's fun to kind of swap stories. Absolutely. You know, they're talking about how it was back when they played and how, how, how they had it so hard. And we're doing the same thing to guys who are younger than us. So. It's always fun to, to, to talk and listen to the guys talk. Well, you've really entrenched yourself in the New England sports scene post-playing days. We can hear you on the radio yep. every day now. 37 MFE middays. <laughs> now, along that vein, final question. Who is the better teammate, Tom Brady or Lou Merloni? Oh, wow. That's a tough question. Well, they each have their, their strengths and their weaknesses. But uh, you know you don't play for Bill Belichick anymore, and you can uh, you can be honest. No, but uh, Lou, being the baseball guy, and me being a novice in the baseball world, I'm gonna have to say Lou. Lou, he's always got my back. <laughs> well, I'm actually a fan of the show. I enjoy listening to you, and I really want to thank you for taking a minute to speak with us. Uh, anytime, man. <laughs> I'm honored to be joined by two-time world champion and 1981 NBA Finals MVP Cedric Maxwell. How are you? I'm doing just fine. So I was curious, in your post-playing days, you know, you're now the, on the radio calling the Celtics games. What perspective have you gained about basketball that maybe you wouldn't have had just as a former player that you've learned through your broadcasting days? Um, just probably patience, watching the game in a different way. When you are playing, you know, you're out there in the middle of it and the action is so fast, but as a broadcaster, you analyze a lot more statistics and a lot more things are involved there. Different types of preparation. Yeah, absolutely. Now, what would you hear a lot about, you know, the difference in today's game. What would you say from your perspective, a unique perspective as a player, broadcaster, what's the biggest difference in today's game from when you were playing? Um, strength and size of players. Uh, you know, guys have gotten a lot bigger. You know, LeBron James, uh, you know, being a, a guard slash forward. During my particular day, he was a power forward slash center. So I, I think really the the size of the players getting bigger and stronger really has changed. Absolutely. Well, it was a pleasure to meet you. I really want to thank you for taking a minute today and speaking with us and our viewers. Well, thank you very much for having me.